Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to this uh, new video. So in this video, we are going to deal with one important concept that is a graphical representation of CMOS circuits. In this, uh, we are using one very famous, uh, important, very famous and important method. Okay, uh, that is called as Euler path method. Okay, so this Euler path method is very easy. Okay, using this the uh, drawing the uh, yeah, you see, using the schematic how to draw the layout, it is very easy, easy using this Euler path as compared to the physical layout drawing drawing using the layout design rules method. Okay, layout based design rules uh, that is a bit complicated, but this is very easy. So let us see that now. To automate layout generation, a graph theoretic approach is used. The CMOS circuit is converted into a graph where vertices represent the source drain connections. Okay, edges represent the transistors that connect particular source drain vertices okay the results this results in two graphs one for the nmos network and another for the pmos network an example for this graph transform transformation is shown below okay you see here this is one simple uh, expression here that is uh, uh, this is i guess a plus b plus uh, cd okay for this uh, this is the uh, uh, what to say a uh, cmos logic design uh, they, have, they have drawn the schematic in the pull up part and the pull down part that it, it consists of uh, PMOS and NMOS transistors. Okay. For this, they have drawn the Euler path diagram. You see here where the circles you see, the circles are mentioned here, right? Circles VDD, uh, these are the input connections. That is, this is for VDD. Then here you have for uh, B, this is for uh, this is for I1, this is I2, and this is z okay that is the ground okay so you see here between these two vdd and this i1 you consider this i1 as one single node and we, between vdd and i1 we have two transistors c and d connected in parallel okay so that's what they have done is between these two points they have drawn c and d okay like this so that these two would be parallel to each other okay so this is for pmos okay for pmos they are represented using straight line uh, dark lines bold lines and for nmos they are represented in the in the dotted lines okay you see here and here you see a and b are in series so that's why from this point to this point they have connected these two lines in series okay until z okay the z is the point where we check the output okay and this is for pmos now for nmos you see here for nmos what we have again from at this point this cross mark indicates the output and this cross mark indicates the ground okay so for at uh, nmos logic the c and d here are in series so according to that you see here from this is z right from this output we have one is to i3 from here to i3 and from i3 to ground okay so that in the same way from output to i3 and from i3 to ground okay so these two are c and d okay you should be naming it as this and this line and this and this line correspond c and d so that's why they have mentioned the arrow here these two are c and d and similarly, A and B from the Z to the ground, they are connected parallelly, right? So you see here from Z to, uh, and this curve is passing this curve of uh, B, which you have drawn earlier, okay? So that's why this curve should be passing, should be touching this curve here, so that uh, uh, these two uh, uh, would be uh, representing a single input, that is B. That is, uh, uh, you see here, this B here is given from Z to ground, so that's why it, they are mentioned in the dotting line. Similarly, for A, from Z to the ground, they have uh, drawn one dotted line and it is passing the curve of A, which you have drawn for PMOS. Okay. So, in this simple way, you could be drawing this uh, Euler path diagram. Very easy. I hope you understood this, how to draw this. Okay. So, this was about the complete Euler path diagram. Here, the P graph and N graph are dual to each other as the PMOS pull-up network is the complement of the nmos pull down network okay so euler path in cmos layout if two edges are adjacent in the p or n graph then they may share a common source drain connection and they can be connected by the apartment okay as i've explained a gate can be designed through breaks through breaks if an euler path consists in both the p graph and n graph with the identical label the main algorithm for finding such paths is find all euler, euler paths in the graph Identify P minus N, uh, P and N Euler path with the identical labeling. If none exists, break the gate in the minimum number of places to achieve this condition. Okay. 
an Euler path example and the corresponding layout generation is shown here. Okay. So this is the Euler path example uh, for these conditions. Okay. So yeah, this was about the Euler path uh, diagram for one simple uh, logic uh, example they have given it. Okay. So hope you understood it. So that's all for the video guys. We'll see you with, with one last video pending that we are going to cover in the next video. Okay. So that's all guys. Thank you.